Okay, so um, this evening we're going to do some fl fluid art. Um, I wanted to show you how um, I sort of merge two things together. So firstly, I've got a turntable and also um, I like to stack paints like a fluid artist would. So I like to do both at once and I'd like to show you guys how that's done. And before I do that, I wanted to talk about this picture um, because it came to light today in the last few days. It's quite a controversial picture based on the way that I did it. Now, this started as a black canvas um, and I originally wrote on it, rest in peace, George um, Floyd. I then began to do some fluid art on it, uh, which is this centerpiece. Um, and then I added the embellishments. Um, and what I'm trying to get across is, I said on this painting that all lives matter. Um, and someone said to me, no, it should be black lives matter. Now I've named this painting all lives matter. It wasn't the fact that George Floyd was black that upset me and the reason why I've done this. The reason why I did this was the way it happened, the way he was killed uh, was unjustly. Um, whether it be a white man or a black man, it was unjustly. So this is All Lives Matter painting, okay? It's not Black Lives Matter for me. Um, I, I think everyone's important and we're all human. Um, so that's my painting. I just wanted to talk about it and let you guys know that every life matters. And um, this is my All Lives Matter painting. Um, and this is... Uh, in respect or in memory of George Floyd. Okay guys, let's get back to the painting. Um, I've got one more paint to mix up that I wanna show you guys and then we'll move on and get onto the turntable and show you how that goes. Okay, so you can see um, 12 colors here that I've already mixed up. Tonight we're doing a sky theme. Um, so it's, um, we're gonna try and incorporate a few, few different techniques to try and create a sky. Um, so next week we're gonna actually um, create a rainbow um, and this piece I'm naming Hope. Um, but to start with, I just wanna mix up my last color. Um, I've decided to go with uh, Turquoise Blue by Pebio Studio Acrylics. Um, I use all their products and the uh, pouring medium I use is Liquitex Professional uh, Pouring Medium. Um, I've never had any trouble with this. I've always used it. I buy it in uh, I think it comes in four liters and um, I just I just reuse these bottles so uh, I buy a big tub of it I usually buy two a month um, and that lasts me so let's get let's get down and let's um let's weigh this out I'll show you how I do that so I use plastic cups and um, I do reuse them where I can but I can't always reuse these cups and um, I weigh my paints I don't just guess it I like them to be the same uh, every time I do it now I'm just taking the uh, dry paint off that. Okay, so in this cup, I'm gonna put 15 grams to 20 grams of, uh, stopped at 15, let's leave it at 15. Okay, let's, um, times up by three, that makes 45. I'm gonna put, top it up to 45 grams of Liquitex pouring medium. Now, that's two to one. Um, and that's that's how I like to uh, um, mix my paints. Now, I have a different way of mixing it. Don't laugh at me. Um, you won't be able to hear me in a minute. Um, I use my drill. Um, and I also uh, have uh, this thing. Um, it used to be a, um, a frother and I took it apart and I actually um, put um, two pieces of timber on there that fit nicely in the cup. Um, so that's what... that's. That's exactly how I use it. Um, people think you put too many bubbles in it and things like that, but it's going onto a, a, a rotating turntable, um, so it won't actually affect it too much. And to be fair, it's so much quicker. Okay, so that's mixed up now. I'd like to add some water to that, which I normally do. Um, and I add the water until it's runny honey. Now, I use a squirty bottle because I can sort of, um, I can measure it a lot better. I mean, I can put a little bit in or I can put a lot in, but I'm not gonna over pour it, um, which is really important when getting the consistency right in these paints.
Now that to me is pretty good. Can you guys see that? That is like warm honey. Um, and that's the consistency I like to use on my paintings. Um, what I'm gonna do now um, is what I've done with the rest of these colors. Um, I have, let me just get rid of that, taken half the paint or just under half. I've grabbed some white. I made lots of white this evening. Um, the white is slightly thinner. Now there's a reason for that. Um, I like, I'd rather have the white fall off than the colors fall off. So uh, I make it slightly thinner. There we go. All right, so we've got 14 colors now, guys. And um, what I'll do is I'll move us all over to the turntable so we can have a good look at that. I'll have a quick talk about my turntable and then we'll, get the, we'll stack the colors whilst we're on the turntable. And then we're gonna use two different methods to actually pour those colors. Let's, uh, let's move over to the turntable and we'll uh, continue. Okay, guys, so a little bit about my turntable. Um, it's a 900 box that surrounds this turntable. Um, it has um, a 12, 24 volt motor in it. This is on the edge of its capacity to be fair, because there's not much clearance for anything. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is flood the canvas. So uh, if you were, uh, I'm just gonna move this out of the way and we'll, uh, I'll show you how I oh, flood the canvas. Um, so I'm going to start with the, the white. I'm going to start rotating, guys. You may not be able to hear me because it is quite noisy. Um, I've tried to lower the noise, but it, it's not working. So I've given up. Something else I should probably mention to you guys, I don't use canvases, I have custom boards made. Um, the difference between um, canvases and these boards, there isn't much difference at this stage. When it comes to resining, there's a huge difference. It, it's, it's chalk and cheese. Um, it just makes life so much easier when you've got a hard surface to resin on. Resin does like a stable surface. Um, I know people do have success with canvas and resining. Um, but I just really, really enjoy doing it this way. Um, so what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna put um, my cup on here. I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do first is what we call a dirty pour. So I'm, I'm gonna put my cup on here, I'm gonna stack it with paints, and then we're just gonna chuck it upside down, lift it up, and then get the turntable going again. Um, so here's my cup. I'm going to put a colour and then I'm going to put white in. Another colour and then I'm going to put white in. Until we filled this cup. I hope you guys have had a lovely day. The weather here isn't that good. Um, so I know they were having peaceful protests in the local park. 
Um, I do believe that's quite successful. Um, and uh, Yeah, it was a shame they didn't have the weather. Um, one of my friends went live, so I did listen to part of the protest. Um, and I understand where they're coming from. I honestly do. Um, and, you know, communities, um, races, I guess, uh, colours, you know, there is a segregation and it's not right. Uh, we should all be equal. Um, and that's my view on it anyway. Now, skies are pretty bright, so what I'm doing, um, oh, nearly dropped it, guys. What I'm doing is putting quite a bit of white in to make sure uh, that we get that beautiful sky effect. Now we've got white on the canvas, so it will, um, it will create a lovely effect. Um, as I say, next week we're going to create a rainbow, um, which will be amazing. Um, I haven't done it before. Um, I have got the confidence to do it um, and it's going to be done slightly, it's going to be using funnels but in a slightly different way um, and it's going to be really exciting and um, so I've, done I've tried rainbows but not successfully and this is going to be a new, a new way of doing it. Alright guys, I'm not going to get much more paint in here. All right, I've got to try and turn this upside down without getting paint everywhere. Um, you're more than welcome to laugh if this goes horribly wrong, because um, I haven't actually done a pour like this before. So, uh, sorry, a, a, what am I talking about? A dirty pour on a canvas like this before. So, ready, one, two, three. All right, we made some mess. And it's, it's all over me, um, but what I'm going to do is in a, about 10 seconds, I'm going to pick it up and we'll get the turntable going again and we'll see what we create. I'm not going to overspin the turntable because uh, I do get comments on uh, overspinning things. I do love my, uh, my turntable and I love how it spins and I know that I get a bit carried away sometimes, which is understandable. Um, I'm just putting some more white around the corners where it's going to miss and it usually misses. So uh, I just want to make sure that we've got those covered. But I also want to leave some uh, for the next bit that I'm going to do, uh, which is just as exciting as this one. So let's lift this cup up. Ready, one, two, three. All right. Let's leave it at that um, and get the uh, turntable going again and see what it does. See how it reacts. I did want to try another technique as well tonight. So this could be our base layer. Um, and then we're going to put something uh, closer to the outside. Um, I'm not going to spin it that fast when I do it. So I'll get set up to do the next part. Um, I think that looks absolutely amazing, guys. Uh, one of the benefits of having a turntable is the centrifugal force uh, that it creates. So uh, 
Yeah, I hope you liked that bit. Let's go on and do the next bit. Okay, I'll bring this arm down so it can assist me because I like assistance. And this time, see if that's tight. Oh, I'm not strong enough. This time, I'm doing something different. Now, what I want to do, and I don't know if this is going to work, and I'm going to stack my paints in this bottle. I'm going to start rotating. I'm going to bring this to the outside. I'm going to turn the bottle upside down and we're just going to let it do its magic. It doesn't matter if it takes five minutes, 10 minutes for it to empty that bottle. We're just going to let it go um, and see what we get. Now, just a reminder, I want to let you know that we are going to put a rainbow. Now, I don't know if you know much about rainbows, but you only ever see part of a rainbow. A rainbow is actually a full circle. So this piece, um, which I've named Hope, is going to have a full circle. Um, and for me, it's um, something I, you know, the world needs hope at the moment. And I believe that, um, you know, this painting is going to represent what we need to see in the world um, and the changes and the beauty that people aren't seeing at the moment. Um, so let's keep going. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stack this bottle now, um, as I said, and we'll just have a bit of fun. We'll see what happens, um, and we'll go from there. Um, so I've just been told that we should add more blue, so I'm wondering whether we should leave the white out and just add blue. Or... Put a bit of white in pink, but not as much. Do you want to put a bit more colour on it? What I'll do is I'll use greys instead of white between colours um, and see if we can get a nice effect, guys. This is all experiment for me. Um, I haven't tried this technique before. I haven't been practicing all week for it. I've just got, got in here today and got my ideas together and gone, you know what, I'm gonna give that a go. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work. You've tried it. Um, the great thing about painting is if you don't like it, you just let it dry and go over it again. Or even if you want to scrape it, you can scrape a painting. Um, a lot of you will tell me you should leave, I should leave the painting like this. Um, but that's not the vision I had for this painting. Um, there is a, there is a, there's more of a vision that I've got, so I really want to express that with you guys. Um, so we're going to uh, try and uh, achieve something more beautiful. Um, Can't go wrong with blue. <laughs> there's plenty of blue going in here. This is a lot darker mix. Um, let's put two in together. And the great thing about this style of painting, there are no, no rules. We're not doing fine art. We're not doing something where we're trying to create a product that looks just like the original. Uh, if, we're, if we're drawing a house, we want it to look like a house. If, we, you know, if we're drawing a person, we need it to resemble that person. Fluid art, it doesn't need to resemble anything. The world's your oyster with this one. Um, My paintings are very unique to me. I don't know anyone that paints in a similar style to the way I paint. I mean, I embellish my work. There's so many people that embellish their work. Um, I, um, I do a lot of abstract work, as you can see on the piece that I showed you before. Um, I use a turntable. Some people just use a turntable. Some people use a trapeze on a turntable. Um, I like to use my third arm. It's something um, that I asked my father to build so that I could you know, have um, have that as a option on here um, I can see some amazing colors in here guys I don't know if you guys can see it um, but there is some beautiful colors on this on this piece let me go ahead and drop this piece on uh, drop the uh, bottle on I'm going to turn it on um, and then we'll go for it yes we are going to waste a lot of paint tonight guys um, but it's experiment for me, and, and this piece is going to be, um, as I said, the uh, the hope.
Okay, guys, tell me what you think. Patty, you love the colours. Oh, thank you. Um, it's all blues. Um, literally all blue. And there's uh, one green in there. We've got a turquoise as well. Um, yes. Um, I'm going to blow torch it now, guys. Someone asked me, do, do I blow torch it while it's turning? Um, I have done. Um, but I don't. I am... Um, So just to give you guys an idea um, of how, you know, I don't put oils in my paints. Some, I know some food artists put oils in their paints to get cells. Um, as a general rule, I don't like cells. I don't mind the natural formation of cells, um, but I don't like when it's too, too proud of the piece, if, the, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, Yeah. So guys, we've got to put a um, a rainbow on this next week, um, which is going to be difficult because it looks so good, um, and I don't want to spoil it. So um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should put the rainbow. Where can you guys see? You can see the whole thing. Maybe I should put the rainbow. I only want it to be a thin rainbow. Um, it's going to have seven colours. A thin band um, going just here between here and here and um, so that um, we've got sort of the storm the sky and the rainbow and the calm in the middle um, what do you think Patty tell me what you think Oh, excellent. All right, guys. So that's my um, fluid art, and the name's Hope. I will complete this next weekend. I will be coming in slightly uh, earlier so my three beautiful nieces can watch me because they're in bed now, unfortunately. Um, but I really wanted them to see uh, their uncle paint because they've never seen me paint. They've seen videos, but they've never seen me do it live. And because we can't meet up. Um, I just think it'd be lovely for them to be able to watch um, and have their input because kids input is the best if you ever want an idea you got to go to a kid oh thank you Patty that's really kind of you and um, as I say we will get that rainbow in next weekend I hope you you guys can join us and um, I hope you like my work and how I paint um, it is slightly different, so uh, you know, give you guys some ideas on what you can do uh, to be different. Um, and uh, I hope um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And, and thank you for joining me on this live. Um, it means a lot. Take care and God bless.